Hi, I'm Dr. Jay, and this is my guide to combinations without replacement. As usual, down below in the description, there's a PDF version of these slides. In a previous video, we discussed four basic methods for counting. We discussed combinations, permutations, combinations with replacement, and permutations with replacement. This video right here is the third video in a three-part series that delves into more depth on those different uh, formulas for combinations and permutations, and this video in particular is going to talk about combinations without replacement. The idea of this video is to give you intuition behind the formula for combinations without replacement, and to provide a couple more examples of that formula's use. In particular today, we're going to be talking about uh, its use in Texas Hold'em and in the card game Euchre. So last time we talked about the fundamental rule of counting, but we're going to go a little bit different this time. Instead of talking about that fundamental rule of counting, we're going to derive the formula for combinations from the formula for permutations. So as a reminder, a combination without replacement is an unordered set of k elements taken from a set of n elements where the elements cannot be repeated. That's the without replacement piece. And the combination refers to the fact that this is an unordered set. So if you think of this, really a combination without replacement is a permutation without replacement, except for without the ordering. And so our approach for this particular formula to understand the intuition is going to be to take that formula for permutations without replacement and to remove or to divide by the different ways that there are to order those elements. So if we take the formula for permutation without replacement, if you remember, or if you go back and watch that video, the formula for permutation without replacement was n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. And now the question is, well, how many different ways are there to order those k elements? Well, that is just a permutation, right? There are k factorial ways of ordering all k of those elements, as we showed in that previous video. And so if you take this formula here, n factorial, divided by n minus k factorial, and you divide off the k factorial, you will have the number of com combinations. That is, you'll have the number of unordered ways there are to get k elements out of n elements without replacement. So, here it is. So you take n factorial divided by n minus k factorial and divide by that k factorial. That is, the number of permutations of those k items. So there it is, and now we have that formula. Uh, this formula is a little bit long to write, so mathematicians have come up with a simpler formula uh, or a way to represent this formula, and it's this right here, this n choose k, right? So that sort of big parenthesis with a number over another number, in this case, the number being represented by a variable n and a variable k, that is the choose formula, and we read it as n choose k, but that formula just refers to this n factorial divided by n minus k factorial, divided by k factorial. So let's use this formula in the context of Texas Hold'em. If you're not familiar with the game of Texas Hold'em, when you're dealt cards in Texas Hold'em, you're dealt two cards out of a standard 52 card deck. And so the question then is, how many different possible starting hands are there in Texas Hold'em? So you have an initial deck of 52 cards, so n is 52. You're taking two cards out of the deck, so that's k is two. and the order doesn't matter, which means it's a combination, and you don't put the cards back in to redraw the cards, so that's without replacement. So this is a combination without replacement from a deck of size 52 to a hand of size 2. So there are 52, choose two ways of drawing those cards when the order doesn't matter. That turns out to be about 1,300 different starting hands in the game of Texas Hold'em. Now if we move on to a slightly more com complicated situation, the card game of Euchre. The card game of Euchre is played with the 9 through Ace of each of the four suits. So that is 9 through Ace, there's 6 cards that are 9 through Ace. I guess I should say 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Uh, and there are 4 different suits, so there are therefore 6 times 4 different possible cards to choose from. And the question is, if you have a hand of size 5, which is what you get in Euchre, then how many different possible starting hands are there in Euchre? So this is the same kind of setup as the previous one. We have, 50, we have 26 cards now in our deck, and we have five cards that are drawn. So the question is, uh, or the answer is really, that there are 24, I just said 26 a bunch of times, didn't I? There are 24 
choose five different ways of drawing those cards. And if you do the calculation, you find that there are about 43,000 different starting hands in the game of Euchre. All right, so as a quick summary, the, we provided now the intuition behind the formula for combinations without replacement. And we provided two examples, both via card games, uh, Texas Hold'em being one and the second being Euchre. As I mentioned before, this is the third video in a four part video series. So the next video and last video in this uh, sort of mini series is a video on combinations with replacement and providing the intuition behind that formula and providing the um, and examples of its use. As always, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that subscribe button and everyone, I hope you have a great one.